our, our next performer, he's, he's also a newbie. He's a newbie, but we love him. We love him to death. He, he, he's the coolest Italian I know. He is cooler than like Mario and Luigi listening to a Frank Sinatra album in Domino's Pizza. All right? <laughs> this guy rocks. I'm bringing to the stage Mr. Victor Stratton. <laughs> As you said, I'm Victor, and uh, I'll tell you a story about when I was 14 years old. I lived in this uh, this town called Keller, Texas. Anybody heard of Keller? Keller? No, no. Nope. It's because it's a piece of shit in <laughs> town that nobody likes. Um, so I lived in Keller, and in Keller, all the houses in our community were exactly the same. They were all brick, two-story houses. The only way to differentiate is one was a little pink brick, and one was a little dark brick. Like, whatever. So across the street was the odd one out. It was the single story. And uh, a lady lived there, her name was Heather. Um, she is a decently attractive female. Her lips were like Angelina Jolie's retarded cousin. <laughs> Not good. Uh, but they were big, so you know. Like that. Um, and she was really creepy. She was like, not she wasn't like female creepy she's like that guy in the bar that's like trying to hit on you but it's weird <laughs> so it's creepy um that's the kind of creepy she was and uh so uh we have a mutual friend that lives down the street and when you're 14 what do you like to do like go on a giant trampoline am i wrong <laughs> that's awesome it's like the funnest thing ever to do when you're 14. so uh five of us went over there uh, one night it was like 9 p.m and there were uh, two hot chicks there, uh, Heather, me, <laughs> a buddy of mine uh, that lived across the street, and myself. So we're sitting there, and Heather comes up with the idea, let's play Truth or Dare. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> She's catching on. Uh, so we're going to play Truth or Dare. Cool. That's fine. Um, I don't know if you guys know this about Truth or Dare, but if you're with hot females, Truth or Dare is actually uh, Dare or You're a Pussy. <laughs> and that's, that's real. Like, there's no debating that. Um, so you always have to pick Dare if you're a guy. Especially, unless it's another guy challenging you, then it's, you know, it's okay. But Dare all the way. So we're playing Shoot the Dare. We rock, paper, scissors. He goes first. And uh, one of the hot chicks goes first, does her thing. Uh, then someone else challenges Heather, and she does a truth and something stupid. And then <laughs> she, <laughs> she looks over at me, and she's like, Truth or Dare? And I'm just like... My first reaction is brain telling hand to choke her. <laughs> don't talk to me. Um, and so I'm like, dare, because I want to be a pussy. Um, so we picked dare, and uh, and she immediately, she doesn't even take 0.5 seconds. She's like, kiss me. I'm like, oh, oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> and once again, I wanted to choke her to death. Um, so, so I'm like, Okay, and I'm thinking, you know, I could use my chicken, because you always get one chicken, where you can be like, no way. But I was like, it's young. Might want to use it later. Who knows? So I'm like, all right. <laughs> Let's see. So in my brain, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to close my eyes, lean in, the minute make contact, evacuate. <laughs> just get out. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, let's do this. So I close my eyes. I'm going in, and I'm telling myself the entire time, don't open your eyes. Don't do it. And of course... Open my eyes. And there's her face going like this. Ah! And I'm just like, oh, Jesus, put that away. You didn't say French kiss. And she grabs the back of my head and shoves her tongue in my mouth. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Um, I don't want to go over the next couple days. It was hospital visits. And I don't want to talk about So a couple days later, um, I'm playing StarCraft, because what else do you do when you're 14? <laughs> uh, playing StarCraft in my room, and uh, I had the front front room, and I look over because I see some, you know, movement, and a couple of my friends are outside, and I look over, and there's Heather's house, the one story, and I'm like, that's weird, because her blind is kind of like flickering up and down, and I'm like, that's creepy. Take a look. <laughs> so I go look, and, and I can't really see anything, so I grab my little, like, spyglass, because you know, you're 14, you have a spyglass, and it's, you know, just the one eye one, it's not like binoculars, so you're like, I'm looking, I'm like, what is that? And I realize it's binoculars. Oh. And I'm like, what the fuck? Flip 
blinds gone, because no way that's creepy as hell. Uh, so I go back to playing StarCraft. <laughs> go outside, hang out with some of my friends, and I see her come outside, and I'm like, perfect. You're going down. I'm about to yell at you, and you're going to cry, and I'm going to laugh. <laughs> that's just how I roll. So uh, she comes up to me, and I'm just like, <gasps> right about to go off, and she's all, you know, I'm really sorry that you caught me spying on you, but, you know, a couple weekends ago, you took a shower and you went to your room to change, your blinds were open. And I was just like, and she goes, she says this exactly, she goes, I want you. And I'm just like, I'm just like, what's wrong with you? You're creepy and no, get away from me. I don't like you. And, I'm, and, I'm, and I go to run back inside because I'm like scared. Like, is she gonna like pull it down on me if I say no? I don't know. So I run back inside, and before I can get to the door, I look back, and she's just like, and there's a single tear. Oh. I'm just like, oh, fuck me. So I go back over there, and I'm like, right as I'm about to say I'm sorry, uh, I'm just like, you know, I'm feeling terrible. And she goes like, she, she's just staring at me with one tear. Right there. It didn't move. It was right there. She pulls out this vial of this like green stuff. I don't know what it was. And she, as she's looking at me, she's just like unscrewing it. She, has her t- she, has, she grabs the tear very carefully with her hand. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. She grabs the vial, dumps the green liquid on it, and then goes, Kashaboo! I'm just like, oh, what the fuck? And I'm, I'm, I'm 14, so I'm like, Ew. Ugh, I don't want to get dirty. And so I go, and, and she, she lets out this high-pitched scream. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And she just runs back inside. And I'm just like, that was weird. So I go to her best friend's house, tell, tell her the story, and she's all, you didn't know? And I was like, no, what? She's all, she's a witch. <laughs> so I, <laughs> that day, I find out that She's my mortal enemy because nice guys get curses put on them. <laughs> what? 